the future is going to um, be exciting and exhilarating and, and more than anything really it's going to arouse curiosity which is really the essence of what science is all about, capturing the imagination of students. I think the lab of the future will have more um, versatility, be flexible, um, interactive surfaces um, and also maybe be more akin to a working environment. The lab of the future will, uh, will be a very flexible space uh, for students to do a multitude of tasks. Science classrooms are likely to be much more interactive, much more flexible and, and I suppose they're going to open up possibilities that you really can't do within a single space at the moment because it will give you access to connections elsewhere and it will give you options where you can create, I suppose, really exciting experiments that are sometimes almost pretty much beyond our imagination at the moment. Thinking outside the box, so we've got lots of integrated um, units that will come out of the desks, uh, chairs and benches that will fold back into the units and really provide a sleek um, space that's really interactive. We've had some really futuristic ideas. Some of the designs that have been shown to us as, as entries could actually be manufactured today using the technologies available. What's impressed me about the entries today has been the, the level of detail that pupils have gone into to demonstrate what their lab of the future will look like. I was expecting to see more uh, rocket scientists uh, you know, coming up with all kinds of wild and wacky ideas, uh, but they were pretty grounded. Uh, as, it, as it turns out. Some of the designs were very realistic. Uh, clearly they were working with the types of classrooms they've already got um, and the, uh, the, the, the fabric and the, na the nature of the curriculum I guess of how the class comes together to hear the teachers um, presentation. You can see that a huge effort has gone in and it's interesting that in some of them they've expanded and talked to lots of different people about their needs and they've gone through a really comprehensive process of trying to gather those um, aspirations from the sorts of people that might use these labs and then build them into some very clever designs. I was really surprised with the designs, the way the children had allowed the bench to focus on the teacher putting the teacher in a position where they had greater visibility of the pupils and could interact better. Realistically, the designs that we've seen could be developed into a lab that could go into a school tomorrow. The winning entry was a very competent piece of work, very thoroughly thought through and uh, we were all very impressed with it. Winning entry was, was very, very comprehensive, uh, left no stone unturned and had a really good uh, grasp of products, technologies, even you know, prices of those technologies. So the winning entry was just simply very good in all respects. This was a design where they'd consulted widely, they'd gathered the information and they'd driven it right through with a lot of creativity to a very exciting solution. The winning design um, has taken exceptional efforts from a team of four young ladies and the presentation um, encompassed all areas of points of views, it incorporated how they'd actually got to the design, planned the stages of how they would achieve it and the actual end product as I've said is a design that could be incorporated to any school.